Hello, today I'm going through direct and indirect nurses of monk class. So first up, we have class balances. Reduction of incoming damage for ranged classes, the demon hunter, necromancer and wizard class no, will now have innate 15% reduction of incoming damage. The Barbarian, Crusader and Monk classes will continue to have an innate 30% reduction of incoming damage as they always have. Now, because Monk's primary targets are Demon Hunter, Necromancer and Wizard, that will mean we basically have now 50% redu reduced damage. Of course, that doesn't apply to Barbarian, Crusader or other Monks, but as these are the main targets we are targeting, we will get 15% reduction on or damage on our primary targets. Now, is it is this a bad thing? Probably not, because the meta is pretty much melee classes at the moment, and ranged classes needed some love. Although Necromancer was pretty oppressive already, now with the 15% damage reduction, Necromancers will be enjoying the PvP a lot more, as it will be harder to one combo them, but they can still one combo everybody, because they have one of the highest single target damage and one of the longest CCs in the game. So Necromancers will be enjoying this patch a lot. Demon Hunters a little bit and Wizard a little bit too. There's one thing I want to point out too, that the Undying Race is finally getting nerfs. The duration has decreased from 4.75 to 4 seconds, but the 0.75 seconds is... is it too... is it enough? To make a difference, we will see, maybe not. And the healing is also reduced from 30 to 15%. The healing award will remain at 30% for the damage done monster during undying range. So that means it doesn't impact in PvE. Now to the monk. This is the nerf. The Shimmerlin wave of light damage has been decreased. We do not know how much or what the percentual damage decrease, but it will be decreased and in my opinion, this is a good thing. Nobody likes to die outside of your screen because some monk jumped on somewhere and you used Chimelin and you took so much damage that you just died. Now, it now as we got the 15% damage reduction on the ranged glasses and Chimelin got nerfed on the same patch, this will probably feel really, really huge nerf because main damage skill that most of you are probably using with the monk is getting nerfed. Primary targets are also getting more effective HP. This will mean the that the shimmering will feel pretty weak. Now, subsequent hits on the same enemies have been reduced from 30% to 25%. That's not a huge thing. This prob You probably don't even feel this. It's, it's a tiny nerf. All depends how they do this one. Now, I will mention that will below wave strike damage has been increased and the attack animation will end sooner. Now, this if if this is finally gonna do more damage than Shimmelin, then this will probably replace Shimmelin. As with this, you can also use Imprisoned Fist if you want, and there's some nice combinations you can do, but only if the damage is actually great enough. And if it is, I will be doing some videos about the new will below. Now the other ones, this is only good one. Church's Family Rhythm Mystic Strike cooldown has been reduced from 12 seconds to 9 seconds. This is only a PvE upgrade, and if you are using Wittles, you now have the felines 30% attack speed on all the time because, well, it lasts 9 seconds with Wittus and now the cooldown is 9 seconds with Church's Familiarity Legendary, which is kinda nice. But in PvP, I would not use this one at all. Now Endless Trial and Power of Undulat, both were pretty bad, but fun to use, but they are not good in PvE or in PvP. But we will see if the damage is really, really high, but I, I really doubt that they are gonna get any use out of that either ways. Now Leering Riptide Wave Strike Uncharged and Fully Charged damage has been increased and it's time to reach maximum charge has been reduced from 1 second to 0 
Now, I've never seen people actually using this. Uh, if you think about it, this has a stun, but Imprisoned Fist has a knock up and a stun. And in Imprisoned, you can have two charges, while in this one, you only have one charge. So, pretty bad, in my opinion. If the damage is really oppressing, maybe we'll, we'll see some use. But if it's not, then, then I will still recommend using imprisoned over this although you could use this and imprisoned but i'm pretty sure flying dragon is going to be better than this one but we will see we will see but there's all the nerves that monk is going to get we will see how good it is after this personally it doesn't impact me that much the 15 percent reduction on ranged classes will hurt but as you might know i do not like to use shimmelin other than in PvE, so I'm gonna still have fun playing Monk, and I will still be playing Monk, and I really hope we see less of Shimmel in Monks, because it's kind of brain dead to play Shimmel in Monk, in my opinion, but you can have different opinions, that's just my opinion, and I really hope you have a great day, and I hope to catch you on the next one.